Hello and welcome to Big Car SL. So today I'm gonna to go over the Tempered Skier Sip Pack. So following up on my last previous video where I did the review on the Quiet JPC in Multicam Black, and I was talking about different pouches, different configurations that you can put on it. That is Multicam Black also, and one of that is the Tempered Skier Sip Pack, and which I have ordered and it's finally arrived. So I just want to do a quick review on the pack. So this made by Tamer Skier is a Polish brand. I have also done a review on it before, so you can check that out also. And the fabric they use is also 500D Multicam Black. And it's very similar to the Pi Multicam Black on this fabric. Not this one, on, on the one for here. And there are laser cuts all over the place where you can add more attachment, but I'm not going to, but you can if you want to. So this pack also fits the Pi zip configuration, the length and the position of the zipper fits quite perfectly and when you're purchasing a zip pack like this, you should pay attention to the zipper position for example, the quiet one starts around here whereas let's say the ferrule it starts on top and, and the mayflower also starts on top so when ferrule or mayflower zip pack goes on the quiet, it will start from here instead of going from here so you just have to pay attention to the spot it's facing on top and originally, it also came with two zipper adapter for carrier that does not have a zip at the back, so you can mold it that on and you can put on this zip pack. But since I'm using the quiet and it already has zipper, so I don't really need this. So on the front, you have a velcro panel on top, and you have two pocket, one here and one here. And in the main pocket, you can open up 180 degrees. But if you don't want that, you can also lock up the this two loop. You can lock up by this plastic piece here so it can stop the zipper from going all the way down but at the moment I'm just going to show the 180 degrees so inside the front is a mesh net where it share the same layer as the front pocket and the back pocket but this one it the front two pocket does not have a folded space so whatever you put in here will take up some space in the main compartment and at the back you have a female velcro panels so you can Technically, put on some velcro pouches to stick it better, to organize better. And you have a bungee cord to retain your hydration bladder. And then you have this loop for also your water tubes. And then you have a little hole here that you can go out from the back. And then you have a plastic frame in the back panel. So the plastic frame is, I think, a similar material to this one. And it wants to go around. And then at the center, there's two lines here, and there's one line over here. So if I, you can kind of see it in the here, you can see the frame skeleton at the back. And there's no frame on the front panel, I mean on the front uh, part of the pack. And these two plastic straps is for when you're putting it on the carrier, instead of just using the zipper, this will prevent the heavier item to drag the Zip pack and Pi also has something similar, so they use two moly. So it's just comes some kind of a like button here, so you just go through the moly and you snap this on. So Pi has two here and two at the bottom, and this is Zip pack 1.0. And on the 2.0, they also have a velcro panel on here that sticks to the back of the carrier. So again, if you have heavier items. It won't jack the zip pack down, so that's what these are used for. So yeah, that's the basic setup of the zip pack. So now I'm going to put on the carrier and I'm going to do some fitting tests. Okay, so when you're putting this on, this plastic strap goes through the second bowl of moldy in here. So if you go through it in here, go it down, then it is in the same position as the zipper. So I just put on the plastic strap. And it goes through, as I mentioned, it starts from the second row of Modi and then it goes through the third and the fifth row of Modi. So even without sipping the pack up, just by the plastic strap alone, you can see it kind of support the whole pack and it doesn't drag it down already. So right now let me just sip it up and I will do a fitting test. Okay, so I just put this zipper on and you can see the zipper is almost perfect fit for the, the zipper size lineup. And the quiet one is just one bit longer than the temper skier pack, which is not big of an issue. And as for the height of the pack, it's the same as the JPC, so you can sit on the floor without any issues. And this is also why I like the 1.0 more than the 2.0. The 2.0, you have an extension piece here, it's a bit bigger. And for your Cymax at the back, but 
At the same time, it's harder to make the carrier sit on the floor, and they don't have body cam black one from zero, so that is the reason why I went with the Tempo Scare in the end. And it's a bit smaller than the one from zero, I should say. In comparison, I think the one from zero can fit a bit more stuff, but I'm gonna do the fitting on both and and see how much of a difference that makes. And for the fit test, I'm gonna use this break end since I have like four or five of them lying around so so you can see this for size and reference. So for the tempers pack I have fit three side by side easily and if I want to fit a fourth one I can but since this bottom is not wide enough so it takes up some of the it stretches some of the pack material and I can barely slip the zipper but this is how it looks like in four cans. So let's do the same on the Pyro 1.0. Okay, so I have tried the four cans, four spray can on the CPAC one and it's up. It's more easier to fit in four cans, and it's also I can lay four cans side by side instead of having one pop up. So you can still get a bit of space in here. But again, the size of the CPAC is up to you whether it's enough to store whatever you want to store. So again, the two point zero is bigger than the one point zero, but I found the two point zero already too big, so the one point zero is perfect for me. And the temperature seat pack is you can also fit about the same, maybe like 80% less than the I mean maybe 20% less than the Wolfman Zero, but it's also enough for me. So yeah, this concludes the review on the temperature seat pack. And for me, I think I could put like hydration better and some small stuff in the pack. And as for the zipper, it's smooth enough to get the open and shut motion. But compared to the zip pack, where what I'm used to, you know, you get a velcro flap and a zipper in the center. I think the zip pack can access the material faster. But then, in airsoft, I don't know how much of a difference that would make. And also, to access something from the back is mainly from your teammate instead of yourself. If you have to access something from the back, you have to take off your plate carrier anyways. So yeah, this is the review on the Tamworth Gear zip pack, and I'll see you guys next time.